What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to launch your Java program into an application slash jar file format. So without further ado, let's start the video. But before we start the video, I have a graphical user interface here. Let me click run and see what happens. So yeah, this is a final year module chooser tool, GUI. So let's just start entering our information in, put in my name. We can go from computer science to software engineering if we want to. That's private information which I wish to not show. So create the profile. It says create profile here on the console as well. So I can just add some modules or whatever. Mm, probably one more networks or whatever so yeah okay submit that and there you go and I'll just get out of this by pressing exit that's what it really is so you guys are here today to see how you launch that graphical user interface into an application slash jar file format so you don't have to keep opening your Eclipse up and launching it from there you can just click one button whereas if it's on your desktop in a file or whatever you click that application jar file thing and you can launch the graphical user interface without further ado let's start it okay I can go here click that then I can do it should say configure it should say run run as and then you can do run configurations but I'll just go here run configurations yeah, everything looks like it's okay. So go to search. Yep, that is correct. Go to run. Okay, we are given the same thing. So I'm going to get out of that. I'll quit application loader. And now go back to run. Run configurations. No, we already did that. Okay, run... No, we don't need to run anymore. Go here and click export is what I wanted to do. Okay, pretend you never saw that. Okay, so you are now given with another user interface. So I need to go here, Java. You can do jar file, but to keep it safe, go on runnable jar file. Click next. And you can choose your destination where you want it. So at the minute, I'll probably just go documents, computer science, second year. And have this as a module chooser. Okay. On jar zip, yeah, that's the correct file format. Click save. Click finished after everything's done. Package, no, no, no. Copy, no. So extract required libraries into the generated jar. Press finish. And yes, okay. So I can now go here, go all the way to finder. And there it is, module chooser. Works the same way. Create the profile. Add any garbage. There you go, get out of that. And let me get out of Eclipse as well to show you that it does work. You don't have to be in Eclipse for this to work. Create the profile, add anything, submit that, and there you go. Get out of that. What is happening? Force quit that. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thanks for now.